Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing, um, again, another annual video that I do is what I got in the January sales. Um, so again, for this year, I think I'm going to be minimising uh, my shopping, both physically, in store and online. Um, and for the sale this year, I've only shopped online because all the shops in the UK, which are non-essential, are closed at the moment. Um, so I've only been doing um, browsing mainly. I did try to avoid getting anything, especially things that I don't really need right now. Um, I've been mainly just looking out of interest, see what's in the sale, uh, and generally... Um, looking at some new in stuff as well for this year and also for spring um, But I'm just going to show you um, the few items that I got and I will link them down below in the description if you're interested um, I won't guarantee that they'll be available because um, some of them would have already sold out or um, for any of you watching that have watched previous videos or um, have been following me for a while you would know that I am absolutely in love with Bradley London so this is a brand um, from the UK so this time in the um, sale I got only a few items um, because I'm trying to not to spend too much so this is a shopping tote so this you can um, fold out and it just normally clips like into like a small size and it's got like a hook thing on the back if you do need to attach it to something um so these are amazing they're waterproof but the only thing about these is you can't put anything too heavy in because it's very um the material is very light so it will um rip the bag um but on the other hand if you do like putting um like books or using these for books or groceries i would more recommend this so this is the radley loves london collection tote so this tote is made from um like a cotton material um cotton linen material um normally they have like a really nice graphic design on the front which is amazing on the back it's plain with um, Radley London embossed um, with Radley London embossed at the bottom here yeah. and on the inside they have a small zip pocket I'm just going to quickly get it out of this packaging to show you closely ok so as you can see a bit clearly now so it comes in a tag so this is normally £12 and it reduced to I think either eight or nine pounds, which is nice. So I always love the designs that they come up with on these totes. I actually collect these totes. Um, I do use them, but I actually tend to buy them mainly because I love the design on the front. And especially if I really like the design, I don't really want to use it because these do get dirty because they are white. Um, and the material that they are, they do mark easily as well and it's quite hard to uh, wash it out. Um, but, however, having said that, because they're not that expensive, um, it's not too bad. And you can wash these, actually. It's just, if it's like a, a mark or a stain, it can be quite hard to get out, just like your normal clothing. Um, so this is a zip pocket on the inside, which I always find really handy. Um, so sometimes when I use these for like, library books, um, I can keep like my library card or um, library receipts in here so I don't lose them. Or if you could just like put some money in here in case you need um, to pay for anything um, while you're at the library. I love these. I think they're amazing um, book toads or if you do take them to like um, market or shopping. Uh, really good these are really sturdy so you can actually put something heavy in what I have done in the past is because these are not waterproof I have put this on the inside and then I've used one of these on the outside so that it's waterproof but at the same time it can withhold substantial weight whereas these 
I think will be only good for um, putting light items like food, um, as in like lunch sort of food, not a grocery shop. Um, maybe like a coat um, or a scarf. So sometimes when you go out um, and it gets a bit hot, you can take your scarf, hat, gloves off, and it's good little bag to put that in. And because it's foldable, um, once you finish your work, you put it back in your bag. Um, or sometimes it's really handy to have one of these in your bag in case um, you need to buy something. Um, whereas these, it's not as easily to fold. So you can fold these, but because the material is quite um, structured, when you fold it up, it is still quite bulky compared to this. But when they open out, they are very similar size. So with these, it's quite hard to just put this into another bag, whereas these do fold down really well. So that was just a quick comparison of the two. They're both amazing. They have um, different functions, and you can even use them together, like I've just mentioned. You can put this on the outside, this on the inside. Um, so these make really good gifts as well. So they're quite inexpensive. They're around about £12.00. Um, even in a sale, um, normally they're about 16 so again with these you can um, put these as like Christmas presents or birthday presents, um, they're quite nice and Radley London is a very good quality brand um, so I'm sure it will last a long time so they make really good presents and another good present um, that I think you can get from Radley is I, f I don't know exactly when they started doing this, but I think it's only been two or three years. Um, they started expanding um, the range of things that they do. So they do mugs and also stuff like this. So this is like a hot and cold water bottle. So they do mugs as well. Um, and I think these are lovely as gifts as well. So comes with the iconic um, Radley dog design so it's got all these lemons in which I think is brilliant for a water bottle I love putting lemons in my drink um, and it's just like a really good quality bottle um, it's a very similar design to like a chili water bottle um, it's quite big as well let me see if I can find how much water it holds I think it'll be about 500 ml um, so this was originally £30 um, but in the sale this was reduced to I think £10 I would um, link these items down below and even if you don't get them in the sale they're relatively well priced so £30 for a well designed water bottle is absolutely brilliant um, it's really good quality, you can feel it's quite weighty but at the same time like not too heavy. So yeah, this is really nice. I think anyone getting this as a present will be thrilled, especially people who like to have a hot drink with them on the go um, or when they're at school or university. Um, this is fantastic. I think this holds 500ml, if I remember right. So. So this is the uh, two items that I got from Aspinall of London. So I've taken it out of the cardboard box, um, sanitised these gift boxes. It just came um, with the item inside the gift boxes in like a cardboard box. So I've disposed of that and wiped these uh, boxes. So I'm just going to unbox with you what I bought. Um, so these are incredibly good quality gift boxes. Um, really luxurious feel to them really sturdy um, you can keep these afterwards for storing the items or just storing anything else in general um, and also as a gift this would um, feel amazing um, so as you can see it's quite a tight fit so let's have a close-up of this item so this is a astronaut of uh, london pull-up mirror so you can see um you get like a mirror in there so it's the size of this and um, this is excellent for putting inside your handbag so this is a um, 
merlot um, color so it's in like a lizard embossed leather so it's not real lizard but um, lizard pattern embossed and it's really nice um, Aspen of London there embossed onto the leather um, it's quite subtle so it doesn't scream designer you've got the Aspinall badge there as well so this is a really nice thing just to put inside your handbag um, especially like a little handbag as well because it's quite a small product you just pull this and you've got a uh, mirror and just really luxurious and this will make a lovely gift so they do these in all different kinds of colors um like feel of leathers you can have like smooth leather mock rock or lizard um, different colors as well so overall i'll say this is like a really really luxurious um mirror so the next item this item we have in this box is a card holder so these is like matching color i would say again this is like a merlot color it's got a really nice package with like tissue paper so it's really nice for a gift too um so you've got the aspinall badge embossed there very subtly and on the other side you've got like aspinall of london uh you've got like the care card so this is um got a car slot in the middle and two either side so you can potentially put um five cards but um with past experience i find if you do put five cards it'll be like really tight quite hard to like pull cards out so i'd only say probably like one on each side and maybe like some cash or like a card just one card in the middle but yeah this is really nice got like a really shiny um feel to it really smooth so this is like a mock crock texture um and the color is just really rich and dark red again it's like a merlot color um so yeah i've bought these before these card holders from aspinall they're amazing quality um see like the stitching um really handy excellent as um gifts so that is um, the two items that I got from Aspinall of London. So the first thing is from the body shop. So I did like a mini haul from um, body shop. I ordered um, enough for a free delivery, which was great because um, delivery would have been three ninety nine um, standard, and I think for next day it would have been about six ninety nine or something like that. Um, so this is a gift box. So this is the um, almond milk. So the smoothing, um, oops, smoothing almond milk and honey. So this box is really nice. I really like the ribbon. Um, so it has like an elastic bit there as well so it does stretch so this box is really nice um might see if i can use this box um for something and this is at the back so i hate that so i'm just going to open the box and um show you what's inside it's quite tricky to get off actually um so this makes a really like nice pampering gift for um, mum, sister, um, auntie or cousin, anybody really or next door neighbour even. Um, this works as like birthday present, Mother's Day gift, um, pretty much anything. Um, so after struggling to open it, um, it's quite like a tight fit so this is what is inside this uh, lovely gift box it is a um, it smells really nice um, I can smell like the almond and also the honey which I love um, if you've watched my video before um, I got one of these for my birthday in 2019 um, and this makes like a really great sort of present um, 
it smells like really nice it's not i think it's one of those that um, most people like rather than like a niche one or like the fruity floral ones which some people like some people don't like so this is a um body yogurt so it's the first it'll be the first time i've ever tried a body yogurt i mainly use their body butter so that'll be a new experience um, body shop soaps are amazing they're really good um i think they just they moist they're quite moisturizing so i know sometimes when you uh wash your hands or, or wash face or whatever you use soap for it kind of makes your skin really dry and flaky whereas i um, bought the moringa one before um that's my favorite from the body shop and i um regularly buy the uh, pink grapefruit or satsuma um, for my dad um, because he likes to use soap um instead of like a body wash so um he really likes it as well so we are a big fan of the body shop soap in my house um, this is the first time I've got the almond milk and honey one though, but I'm sure it will be amazing. And again, yeah, a little body scrub thing with this. Um, I love these, I actually find them really handy. And actually you end up using less body wash when you use one of these because um, normally you have to use quite a lot if you just rub it in your skin with your hands and you end up actually wasting a lot of it as well because your skin's up getting washed away by the water um, but with this you actually only need a very tiny bit and it actually bubbles and the way it sort of scrubs on your skin is amazing I had a body shop one like years ago because normally I tend to just uh, get one from Wilkinson's or occasionally I treat myself to a Soap and Glory one from Boots but this is, um, it feels amazing, it's really soft and I think this is perfect for travelling as well because it's just like a really tiny um, one as opposed to like the big puffy one that I normally get so the last item in here is a hand cream so I love the Body Shop hand cream they're quite expensive for um, quite a small tube because I think normally these are about five pounds per tube and they do go quite quickly although you only very you only really need a little bit um you don't need to like squeeze a lot it's very moisturizing and the results are almost instant so I always love getting one of these um but they are slightly on the pricey side so the next thing that I got is this a big bottle of uh, Moringa body wash and this is the 750 ml and it comes with like the dispensing top here where you just like press down squeeze which I actually prefer to the other version which comes like in this um, and this is the 250 ml so the Moringa one also comes in this size and I find sometimes it's hard um, to use i might get, end up getting too much out when i squeeze it this is a really good one um i bought one of these last year in the sale as well and when i saw them again in the sale this year i thought they're amazing so this was um 10 pounds which does sound quite a lot for um body wash but this actually does last quite a while i think this is amazing in the summer because of the light floral scent um, in the summer just leaves that really nice refreshing floral scent when you have a shower but equally in winter it's amazing as well so the next item is a limited edition one so this is this year's i guess every year they do like a festive range so this is part of the festive range this year the winter jasmine um this is really nice i love body shop um like perfume mists things um, I love the Moringa one as you see there's a pattern I tend to get Moringa or if not the almond milk and honey one but this time I've been quite intrigued by winter jasmine I'm quite into like my floral scent so jasmine again is one of those flowers that I think smells amazing um, so I've got this in the sale it's this is as a body mist or as like a home fragrance so you can spray it around um, the home so these are really good um so this one is a uh, hundred ml so that's quite a big um, bottle here and the design of it's just nice it's quite um small so if you do um carry like a big tote around with you it will fit in um the only 
downside is this is made from glass so it can smash and um, that's the only downfall with this one so I thought I'll show you some bits that has just arrived from the body shop I did a second load of shopping because I got my uh, five pound reward voucher so I thought I'll use that up while the sale was still going on so I got these um, mitts this mitt which is really nice and soft got this um, Satsuma and pink grapefruit set a nice cosmetic pouch um, a Satsuma soap these smell absolutely incredible it's really fruity and lovely and this is a brush and it's got a double ended so this is for um, doing eyeshadow or eye, eye makeup is really good um, I love brushes from the body shop they're always um, really good quality as well and as you might know if you've watched previous videos before from me about body shop I um, absolutely love the uh, ginger shampoo it's anti-dandruff but also it just smells incredible and it's really nice on the hair especially in winter um, it's really nice and it's got that warm feeling um, when you use this um, I don't use it um, that often maybe once a week um, I use it in between my normal shampoo so it isn't like a main shampoo but it is um, lovely to use uh, once a week or maybe a bit more frequently so I filmed a um, perfume collection video after um what i got for christmas video um but i haven't managed to edit that and upload that yet but that will be uploaded after this video so if anyone's interested um in a perfume collection that will be coming up um and also i was thinking for another video idea to do a jewelry collection um so i do have some pieces from pandora um, Chamelia and also um, bits like um, and also jewellery from um, independent um, jewellers and just for like a quick look I've got quite a lot of my rings on I do have um, a few other ones I haven't put on because I only have so many fingers but I do like stacking them so these are mainly my um, Pandora ones um, so yeah I've you are interested um a video jewelry would be a jewelry video be coming up so again for watch so um also i'm thinking of doing a handbag video sometime this year but that's slightly more difficult to do as i have to get them all out which can be a hassle because at the moment they're very nicely um stored away um but yeah if there is any video ideas um, do let me know or anything you like me to talk about.